Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like the videos. Hi, Photos subscribers. Today we are talking about why does my lens have two focus rings? Well, uh, the, the subject is a little bit hard to discern from not seeing your lens, but the, the assumption I'm going off of from having seen the lenses that are on the market is you probably have a zoom lens. So one is going to be adjusting your zoom focal length, meaning the um, magnification your camera gets out of your lens. It'll go from uh, a kit lens typically is 18 millimeters to 55 millimeters. Um, if you have something of greater telescopic value, then you may have something that actually goes from 70 millimeters to two or 300 millimeters. It's not uncommon for some lenses to go from a fairly common portrait style uh, focal distance of 70 or, or 35 to go up to 70, 100, 105, 200 millimeters. So anywhere from that, that distance range, um, I've even seen Canon make a couple of different lenses. I think they range in a little bit odd um, uh, focal distances from like 85 to 200 or or something a little bit along that that vein it, it, I don't know exactly where that lens fits in but it's intriguing enough that obviously Canon's creating it there's enough of a demand in the market that enough photographers are going to need that lens to to be a good variety lens the for them oh sorry I'm not talking to you <laughs> um but all the the lenses on the market are set up for specific demand on the market and certain photographers need those options um, but that would be one of your quote focus rings is to adjust the zoom of your lens on your camera and you may have noticed playing around with that ring that uh, it it may adjust the length of your lens um, I've taken some portraits with the lens that adjusted and someone told me that the lens was intimidating to people. I never thought about it before. I guess it's possible. I was taking images of an event around a house and I needed a, a wide angle view. So I needed a, a little bit of a zoom lens so that I didn't have to switch lenses all the time going back and forth from a, uh, more of a 35 or a 50 millimeter portrait type shot to a, a wider angle 14, 18 uh, millimeter uh, view of a room. So uh, that was my my need for the zoom lens and it, it did adjust. As I focused the, the uh, focal distance ring in and out from 18 to 55, uh, it did adjust forward and backwards. Now, that ring as a kit lens was, uh, or that, that lens as a kit lens was a little bit different because as I needed to change focus at that greater focal length, I would have to rotate the bezel of the lens out at the very end where a um, lens filter would connect to the lens. So I didn't have two rings on that lens, but other lenses might, uh, especially uh, it would have to be a zoom lens to have two focus rings. One adjusts your zoom, as we've already discussed, and the other does affect the focus. Now, this one little caveat before we um, get into focus is the further you zoom out, the the more your focus changes, if that makes sense. It's, it's not going to be a great deal change, but as you zoom further out, uh, the slight more adjustment you'll need to make sure that your focus is still remaining sharp and intact. Um, then obviously the second ring on your lens would be your focus ring and it'll be what you're paying attention to uh, if you're not on autofocus once you zoom to make sure that your object and the focus within that focal plane needs to be as tack sharp as possible. So two rings well, they're not necessarily both focus. You will notice that when you zoom in or out that your focus changes. So just be aware of that. When you zoom in or out, you make sure that if you're not on autofocus that you have the focus ring also in hand to adjust that so that your photograph comes out tack sharp. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, 
like the video if it has added content to your photography and shooting. Post a comment down below and let us know how it's helped you. Thank you so much. God bless.